in the face of the growing threat posed by hypersonic missiles. A country like Israel, surrounded by hostile nations seeking its destruction, must develop a means to defend itself from such attacks. For those unfamiliar, a hypersonic missile is a weapon capable of traveling at speeds between 5 and 25 times the speed of sound, which is approximately 1 to 5 miles per second. To put that in perspective, a hypersonic missile launched from China could reach the US in less than 30 minutes, covering over 9,000 miles. Now, consider a much shorter distance of 1,071 miles between Israel and its primary adversary, which is Iran. Such a missile would arrive in an extremely short time. To make matters even more concerning, Iran already has a variety of hypersonic missiles in its arsenal and some were even used against Israel on October 1st attack. Among them is Iran's most advanced missile, the Fatah II, a medium-range ballistic missile developed by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. What makes this missile especially dangerous is its high maneuverability and speed, which allow it to slip past traditional missile defense systems. Stakes are even higher with reports suggesting that the Fatah II could be equipped to carry nuclear warheads should Iran push forward with its nuclear ambitions. The Fatah II hypersonic glide vehicle offers far greater maneuverability compared to a traditional ballistic missile, which follows a more predictable arc. With an estimated operational range of 1,400 miles and speeds exceeding Mach 13, if Iran's claims are accurate, the missile could reach Israel in less than eight minutes after its launch. Even more concerning is that Iran is believed to have around 3,000 hypersonic ballistic missiles in its arsenal. This estimate was made by the US over two and a half years ago, meaning the number could now be higher. And Tehran has likely held back the majority of its stockpile, preparing for the possibility of a full-scale war with Israel as tensions continue to rise. Despite the serious threat posed by Iran's Fatah II missile, the Israeli people remain unfazed and confident in their nation's readiness. For the past 80 years, Israel has been preparing for moments like this, and in response to hypersonic missiles, they have developed one of the most advanced air defense systems in the world, called the Arrow 3. This system is so precise and sophisticated that it can be launched into space even before the incoming missile's exact trajectory is known. Once the target and its course are identified, the Arrow 3 uses its thrust vectoring nozzle to adjust mid-flight, enabling a body-to-body-to-body -body -body interception. The Arrow 3, or HETS 3, is a joint project between Israel and the United States, developed by Israel Aerospace Industries and Boeing, under the supervision of Israel's Ministry of Defense and the U.S. Missile Defense Agency. It is designed to intercept hypersonic ballistic missiles during their spaceflight phase, such as intercontinental ballistic missiles carrying nuclear, chemical, biological, or conventional warheads. This system is especially effective against longer-range threats, particularly those carrying weapons of mass destruction. It even has the potential to destroy orbiting satellites, making Israel one of the few nations capable of anti-satellite warfare. According to the chairman of the Israeli Space Agency, the Arrow 3 could serve as a powerful tool in space defense, further solidifying Israel's strategic capabilities. In August 2008, Israel and the United States embarked on the development of the Arrow 3 system, aiming for an unprecedented kill ratio of around 99%. This initiative was driven by a 2007 study that outlined the need for an upper-tier missile defense component to enhance Israel's existing ballistic missile defense architecture. Progress was swift, and by February 25, 2013, the first successful fly-out test of Aero 3 took place at Palmachim Air Base. The test assessed missile control and engine performance. Remarkably, the missile achieved hypersonic speed and reached an altitude of 100 kilometers or 62 miles, entering space. During the test, it followed various objects, including stars, as it ascended further into space, showcasing its ability to track targets. On January 3, 2014, another successful test was conducted. In this trial, 
The Arrow 3 entered space again and demonstrated advanced maneuvering in response to a simulated enemy missile threat. The interceptor utilized two of its engines, the first propelled it into space, while the second enabled it to execute complex maneuvers. This critical test proved that the Arrow 3 was capable of intercepting hypersonic, maneuvering ballistic missiles, solidifying its role as a key defense system against modern missile threats. The Arrow 3's exoatmospheric interception method is a cutting-edge design, featuring a two-stage interceptor like its predecessor, the Arrow 2, but with a key difference it relies entirely on hit-to-kill technology. Unlike most kill vehicles, which utilize liquid or gas propulsion, the Israeli system is powered by a solid rocket motor equipped with a thrust vectoring nozzle. This solid propulsion system offers a simpler and more cost-effective solution, without sacrificing precision. What sets the Arrow 3 apart is its gimbaled seeker, which provides hemispheric coverage, allowing the kill vehicle to track and engage targets from multiple angles. By calculating the line of sight propagation from the seeker's measurements in relation to the vehicle's motion, the kill vehicle can use proportional navigation to adjust its course, ensuring an accurate alignment with the target's flight path. This streamlined concept is both reliable and built on mature, proven technologies. Moreover, the agility and divert capability of the Aero 3's kill vehicle reduce reliance on extensive detection and tracking systems typically required for remote sensor-assisted interceptions in space. This enhances the overall efficiency and effectiveness of the system, making it a powerful, yet cost-efficient, solution for defending against hypersonic and ballistic missile threats. What's particularly intriguing is that Aero 3 could potentially be deployed on ships, offering even greater flexibility. Compared to its predecessor, it's faster, more agile, and slightly smaller, nearly half the weight of the Arrow 2. An Arrow 3 battery is capable of intercepting salvos of more than five ballistic missiles within just 30 seconds. The system's complexity and precision stem from its ability to be launched into space even before the incoming missile's exact trajectory is known. Once the missile's path is identified, the Arrow Interceptor adjusts its course mid-flight using its thrust vectoring nozzle to close the gap and execute a body-to-body -body interception. This capability gives it an extraordinary edge in neutralizing hypersonic and ballistic threats with pinpoint accuracy, making it a cornerstone of Israel's missile defense strategy. In a move that promises to further enhance its defense capabilities, Israel's defense ministry and industry developers have initiated preliminary work on what could become the Arrow 4 missile intercepting system. This next generation system is being designed to counter increasingly sophisticated future threats, with the executive vice president at Israel Aerospace Industries, noting that while it might be premature to label this initiative as Arrow 4, the ongoing design studies are focused on extending the interceptor's capabilities beyond those of the Arrow 2 and Arrow 3 systems. By early 2021, Israel confirmed that development of the Arrow 4 interceptor was well underway, specifically targeting the interception of hypersonic threats, including hypersonic cruise missiles and glide vehicles. The urgency surrounding this effort intensified after a November 2022 announcement by Iran claiming it had successfully tested a hypersonic missile. With Arrow 4 in development, Israel aims to stay one step ahead in the ever-evolving landscape of missile threats. On October 1, 2024, Iran launched an unprecedented barrage of over 180 high-speed ballistic missiles at Israel including hypersonic FATA-2 missiles. The extreme velocity of these weapons poses a significant challenge for interception systems. However, initial reports indicated no fatalities within Israel, suggesting that despite the massive scale of the attack, it was a military failure for Iran, although some missiles or their fragments did impact the ground. The sheer volume of missiles fired in such a short time frame aimed to overwhelm or exhaust Israel's air defense capabilities. Interceptor missiles are sophisticated and come at a high cost, typically around $3.5 million each. This raises concerns about the sustainability of their stockpiles, as the price can limit the number of interceptors available. 
Intercepting 100 or more incoming missiles could easily rack up costs in the hundreds of millions of dollars. In stark contrast to the estimated 80,000 euro cost of each Iranian missile, this stark financial disparity underscores the complexities and challenges in missile defense strategies as nations navigate the evolving landscape of aerial threats. Stopping ballistic threats in flight is primarily the responsibility of the long-range U.S. Israeli Arrow 3 and Arrow 2 systems, supplemented by the medium-range David's Sling system. Meanwhile, the Iron Dome is designed for short-range interceptions, particularly against rockets fired by Hamas from Gaza. In the wake of the October 2024 attack, it remains unclear how many Iranian missiles struck the ground. However, reflecting on a previous incident in April 2024, of the 120 ballistic missiles fired by Iran, only nine managed to breach Israeli defenses, causing minor damage to two airbases. This indicated that the April attack was also a military failure from a narrow perspective. A notable difference between the two attacks was Iran's approach to warning neighboring countries. In the April assault, Iran provided a 72-hour notice before launching the missiles. In contrast, the October 2024 attack came without any warning and even the U.S. got intelligence about it only a few hours before the launch took place. The Aero system is an incredibly sophisticated air defense mechanism, arguably one of the best in the world for countering hypersonic and ballistic missiles. However, for it to function effectively in the face of such advanced threats, Israel must have access to timely intelligence regarding missile launches preferably hours before they occur. While there are always standby Aero 3 batteries ready to intercept incoming ballistic missiles, a massive barrage could overwhelm these defenses. If a significant number of missiles are launched simultaneously, relying solely on the standby Aero 3 systems may not be sufficient. Furthermore, organizing additional batteries can be a time-consuming process often taking longer than 8 minutes. This is a critical concern, especially since missiles launched from Iran can reach Israel in just under that time frame. Therefore, timely and accurate intelligence is essential to ensure that Israel can mount an effective defense against any incoming missile threats.